All right, so we're gonna do a little bit of testing on our new CNC mill uh, we got going in here. So I uh, picked this up already built by somebody and uh, they didn't have an emergency stop on it. And uh, I don't know if you've used a CNC mill, but uh, they tend to try to run away sometimes. So it's kind of good to have an emergency stop on it. Uh, I went ahead and left the power button that they put on it originally and just moved it to clear the electronics inside for the uh, e-stop button. But we'll give it a try here right now. Uh, we've got Mach 3 running and we've got a Gecko, Gecko G540 uh, actually controlling all this with up to the parallel port of the computer. So right now we have the spindle on, uh, just running 1000 RPM and we're going to go ahead and jog the axes and those are all working and we note that uh, we don't have any alarms, we don't have any problems here, so I'm going to change the mode, run it into step mode so that it'll actually move on its own. As we see this is moving, spindle spinning, we hit the e-stop, everything stops just like it should, and Mach 3 gets the message. And uh, I went ahead and left this power button, uh, or power light indicator lit up green. Uh, that shows that the spindle head actually has power, even though everything stops, so I can tell that there's power to the unit still. If we hit this here, that'll shut off too. Um, that can be nice if you need to reset everything, because then when you wake this up, it went ahead and turned the gecko back on. But we'll have to reset this, and then we can jog again. But the spindle is still not running because we left the power off to it. So if we come back here, turn the spindle off, give it power again, now it will run again. So, yeah. Anyway, just figured I'd give a little demo of what we've got set up here. This is my uh, little station that we're still working on a little bit. I ignore the mess on the floor in the shop back here. I built a little computer stand here on the side. Uh, it's got kind of a, a little real hedge around it, so when I move this around the shop, I don't jam the computer in anything, and it can't fall off. So, all in all, a little bit of progress here, and uh, we'll put up a couple more updates and get a little bit more done. We need to build a uh, tool holder and uh, some kind of air system off the side here to clear chips and things like that and other fancy accoutrement. So, thanks everybody. Bye.